Hey everybody, I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold, and this is Five Minutes with Ben, and I'm Ben. Shocking. Today we're going to look at a game where Hans Niemann was white against Max Varmerdam from the Netherlands. Uh, Max just played in Tata Steel uh, last month, and this game is from uh, April of 2023. This was played in the Menorca Open. Um, so this is actually a slow game. And uh, in this position, Max has to decide whether or not to take this pawn or if it's poisoned. And unfortunately, he made the wrong decision. Now, if he doesn't take the pawn, the engine doesn't like Black's game very much because Black has these disconnected pawns and Bishop on G7 is sort of blocked. Um, so white has a better pawn structure and pieces are a little more active. <clears throat> so he ended up taking the pawn and unfortunately, uh, for Max, it was, um, poisoned. That move actually loses. Okay. So Hans played knight c5, which is an important move because in this position, Black wants to play bishop b3, which attacks all of white's pieces. <clears throat> so he played knight c5, which stops bishop b3 and gains a tempo by attacking the queen. So the queen moved. And then Hans attacked the bishop. And I think in this position, when Varmerdam took on a2, maybe, maybe he thought he could play bishop e6. Actually, it doesn't matter what he does, he's losing. But maybe he thought he could just do this and be a pawn up. But actually, white's winning material by playing bishop a5 with the skewer. The queen has to defend the knight. We trade. We trade. And then bishop c4. And this is devastating. And if black moves the rook away from e6, like rook e7 or rook f6, then knight g5. And white's going to be up in exchange with a crushing position since this bishop is so bad on, on g7. Okay, and the engine says white's like plus 4.5 or something, which is more than I would have thought. But uh, Okay, so he didn't play bishop e6, which we just looked at. Uh, he played knight e6. And maybe he thought this saved him, but I don't think so. I think he probably was going to play bishop e6 and change his mind. Okay, so the idea is we're attacking the knight, and if the knight takes on e6, the bishop takes, and everything's fine. So Hans played the best move, which is a4, a b4, and that attacks the bishop again um, and defends the knight. So the bishop doesn't have anywhere to go, so he played knight takes the knight on c5, pawn takes, and in this position, if he plays queen b3, that doesn't defend his bishop, I just take it. So you're down, down a bishop. So he played bishop b3, Hans moved his queen, now the queen's attacked, the queen has to stay on the b file to defend the bishop, so he did, and then rook fb1, and the bishops attack, so rook b8, only way to defend. And now the bishop's pinned, so bishop c4 just, just wins a piece. So the a pawn was poisoned, and Hans punished him for his indolence and his insolence. you, you got to punish people. And that's on the road for Hans becoming the world champion. That, that's one of the games. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. This has been 5 Minutes with Ben, and I'll see you next time. Bye.